Hello and welcome to Magsy's Fun Time. This is Magsy, and we are back here on Gollum Factory. Um, ooh, excuse me. There is a new version of this out to where he's added in the new um fields. I'll get to that in a minute. And I haven't actually looked at those yet. I haven't updated because I haven't uh, backed up this world. So I'm going to look at this after this episode. Please, guys, let me know. Um, I'll, I'll post some comments about what I think about the new layout he has. But um, this is what I did, okay? Okay, now first of all, I have some quests here that I've already done up. So what I've decided to do is in this wooden chest here, offline I will do all the quests I possibly can, and uh, off camera. And then when we do our main quest on here, like uh, right here, like the unlock quest, we will do on camera. And all these uh, repeatable quests, I will do the repeatable quest. I'll make the items for it and then put them in this chest and we'll turn them all in when on camera. So that's how we'll do that. Excuse me. So I got to turn all this in. I'm going to do that on camera. Also, through the process of making all of this stuff and uh, redoing all my stuff, getting back to where I was before from the last reset. Um, I got 30 shiny ingots, so I can turn that one in too. So we should have tons and tons of money. And I believe I still have some money over here. Now the sand will be a little low for you guys, I believe. All these are going to be upgraded to Invar. I was supposed to do that the last episode before it, like, you know, broke. I have one of these. Is supposed to be in my money chest. It's this one. This is my money chest. So I really need to make some signs and put them on here. And uh, I think I'm before the next episode I'll I'll do a, lots of uh, iron and we'll make a bunch of invar and we'll go get all these upgraded right here for the next episode. Uh, there's that. We'll, we'll deal with that in a minute. So this is what I did. Well, I unlocked this on the last episode, and then my world got deleted and I had to redo the whole world, which I did. This is what I did. I just capped this off with this brick right here. Jumped in creative and got some of these bricks and just capped this off because we're not going to use this. So this was a, I believe it was 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 by 9. Your generic uh, maximum plot for farming. And what I've done, uh, Okay, let's let's start at the beginning. You can't grow trees in here because there is invisible blocks here that you can't see that are hardcore quest mode blocks. And these things. These things do not go away. Okay? They don't go away. They they're still here, they're just invisible, okay? And they go up only to um, six high. And trees need seven high plus. Okay, so all the trees that would queue up to grow seven or higher wouldn't grow because they don't have enough room to grow. And then it would take forever for the tree to reset itself so it would grow to six or lower. Okay, and then you can grow the tree five, or six blocks high. Okay, but it's really, really rare. And there's no real way without just resetting the whole growing cycle to get the tree to grow on its own that high. So it just sits here and, and, and just takes forever. So what we did, which I already cleared it with the uh, mod creator. He, he That's why he's done the reset up because because that everybody was having problems with that not growing trees. So now I believe you got your own orchard and stuff. So I made this entrance here. And um, this is not, I don't think there's any blocks anywhere in here that this thing, but it, these didn't look right here, and it didn't look right with the brick here. So I don't know, I might change this to something else. If the mod creator has a, a, a suggestion for right here, be, by all means, just 
post what it is and, uh, and I'll switch it out. So I don't know. I guess I could do warded stone. That might look good. But anyway, the wooden button is here. I got the iron door here, and then I have a wooden button here. I made the iron door from my stuff that I bought and put on there. So that's completely mine. I, I made that. also made these iron blocks here because uh, it matched that right there. Um, the, br the brick stairs, I had to spawn in this brick, and then I made the stairs from there. Uh, but the wooden button here, in case y'all didn't know, the wooden button sends out the slowest signal. Okay, so the door will stay open longest with the wooden button. That's why you use the wooden button. So always use a wooden button with the iron doors because it keeps the door open the longest amount of time. So that's that. So this is what I did outside. I put warded stone here. Most of these are just visual more than anything because everybody if you're watching a series uh monsters is monster spawning is cut off so, so that's why i can still eat and not have to worry about not eating or anything so there's that um i got my golems out here i gotta gather a golem and he doesn't really need anything but I think I put uh, a strength one on there for him so he can carry more at one time. And I got a lumberjack dude with uh, the speed one, I believe. So he works a little bit faster. And they just go around chopping every day. Um, this is not here in regular, but he has... Um, a thermcraft machine in here that you wouldn't normally be allowed to use or even have around so I went ahead and put that machine he'll know what I'm talking about that machine is behind this wall so I went ahead and built this wall up here and the tops capped off too so you can't see inside it from up there and I've matched it with this one as you can see for as much as I can I mean it's open there and this is not open but for the most part they match they're the same length out and all that kind of stuff so I thought that was cool um I did the, kind of the same oh, too there's a train I'm sorry guys we, we live next to a train and it always comes around this time I should have just waited a little bit longer yeah I'll just let that pass stupid loud train anyway I tried to go with the same theme as the the building here so I got the lamps magical lamps which he would have put out here if he built this with the iron um, fences and this is the same stuff that's in there I thought the brick stairs looked better here with this outside here and this looks better out here with this iron fence in here so maybe we might put some iron fence inside I can make more iron fence, I believe. Um, and then uh, these are exactly six squares apart, so you need one in the middle here. I got monster spawning off, so it doesn't really matter. But like lighting wise, you'd need every five blocks. So. I really need one here, but I don't really have this. Uh, it doesn't look right here. I put one here and it just didn't look right here. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. So while I'm yapping, as you can see, we're doing pretty good. Okay, guys. Just so you just so you were clear, these guys have only been out here for maybe a half a day. Okay? Like a half a day in game. Not 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 a half a day in like real game or like real life. I built this area here and then I placed them out here and then I placed the trees. And I only did one sapling. Okay? I bought one sapling and planted it out here. And now I've got all this from that one sapling from a half a day. Okay? And I don't have any special uh things out here either, okay? Now the way I've been doing this, now I have to revamp this a little bit because I'm going to have to start um, uh, 
I'm gonna have to start I'm clearing one half of this off because I want one side to be I think wheat I'm gonna buy the seeds for that though so we'll see that I'm gonna keep the rest of these in here for now and I need 200 I think Yep, 200, which is just over three stacks, or just under three stacks. And see, we talk about, oh, dude, look, okay, look, another tree ground. And we had one grew, two grew while we were inside looking out the door. So, these guys are mech. Um, there's one of disadvantage about outside. These animals here will grow outside. We are not going to be using these animals for anything, not even food. We're just going to pretend like they don't exist, like they're just like, you know, decorations for the lawn see another tree see no way this was inside would do this right here it just wouldn't this is so sweet so this will pretty much solve our problem you just have to come out here once in a while and plant these things because um, I ain't figured out a way to get these golems to replant saplings I don't think it's possible if it's possible let me know <laughs> I'll be sure to do it also, you probably will see bone meal on the, my bottom bar. I did get a chest that had some like uh, bones and stuff in it, so that's where that's from. Yeah. So I put that in the pulverizer, and if you pulverize bones, you get six bone meal instead of uh, three. So. I did that so I could test the um, golems, make sure I had them set up right, not because I wanted more saplings or anything like that. So I got these guys here, they're not doing nothing, uh, I think we're going to put some more iron in, let's see how, many iron, how much iron do I have, I do got some gold and stuff, I'll probably make, I got, I got a few tools, yeah. Yeah, I think I'll put three more diamond in, or three more iron in there, just to have them running while we're on here. So let's go out to the shop. I'm gonna look at the the way he has it set up after I um, do a backup save on this world, and we'll go from there. That's pretty much all of that. Okay, so I'm gonna turn to put these papers up in here, and then we'll grab the stuff. We'll clean our bags up. Let's go ahead and do that. That's this, that. And I did get the pail by accident, <laughs> completely by accident. I think in my other game I just made one, and then after that he put the option in to actually buy one. Uh, if anybody wants to go back to my previous videos and see if this is about the same, I don't know if it is or not. You'll just have to look. Um, I just did whatever I, I had to do quest-wise to get it back up to, to where I was at. So, And those of you who don't know, you haven't watched the previous episodes, go watch the previous episodes. <laughs> but uh, the previous episode, he did an update. And then after I finished the episode, uh, it updated when I was coming back on to check something. And deleted the world, which he had said he'd already fixed, but it wasn't fixed. And I didn't realize it till after I'd already updated the world. So it's kind of it's kind of my fault. I should have I should have backed it up like I like I was like I should have. So let's get all this stuff out here. We'll turn these quests in, see where we stand on many wise, and we'll probably call it a day. I also wanted to do some channel update stuff. Um, my old, if you didn't watch my Star Trek episode, which will be going on at the same time as this one. So, tomorrow, tomorrow sometime, or Wednesday sometime, these, these two, both episodes will be up. But um, my regular server 
SMP server is gone now. He, he changed it to a feed the beast server. I, I I go more in depth on the other episode. Just I was just letting y'all know that. So until we get a level max level Star Trek dude, we'll probably be playing Star Trek every day. And then I'll do a Minecraft episode of something. I'm definitely going to be doing crash landing on my usual Tuesdays and Thursdays starting this Thursday and then I'll probably be doing two episodes of um, my bunny little let's play that I'm doing and probably one episode of this on Mondays like usual I just wanted to do this one now to get it out and show you all the stuff I did so this is the one we're doing manual submit we still need the chess pieces and I think we can just shift all this stuff in here and then just submit it all manual submit claim reward cool and then my kitties are going to be loud because they're awesome here we go and then we did this one and what else what else do we do oh the shiny one which isn't in this menu, a special request. Now, as I've said before, don't don't just buy the uh, the alloy one just so you can crush the Ferris ore up so you can get this shiny stuff up because you can you can use that cinnabar you can get from the redstone and uh, ferrous ore in the induction smelter to get 100% shiny uh, ingots so it's better to do it that way anyway so just just wait for that and I believe that is it is it not uh, yes it is okay so let's put these on the wall this over I am still playing Skyrim guys and I do plan on doing a let's play of it after I get my Star Trek one up because I want to start doing Star Trek episodes and that's just a personal preference of my own I was going to do that no matter what oh, dude I love this one Therm Golem they come in handy. I don't really need them right now, though. Yeah. So that was enough to get uh, upgrade, I believe. What do we want? Three upgrades. Open. Um. I think. Ooh, let's do the pulverizer and then we'll see how much we got left. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do we have enough for the furnace upgrade? We do. How about the second furnace upgrade? Yes, we do. Sweet. We're going to upgrade all our stuff. Magma Crucible, I don't really want right now. Induction Smelter, I do want that. Oh, dude. Sorry, guys. It's my alarm. Freaking train. Freaking alarm. I got to get my kids up here in about an hour. This is my alarm. Uh, this is what time I usually wake up. That's what that alarm's for. To do my recordings, but I, I couldn't go to sleep last night because my stomach was killing me. Um, I want to save some. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I want to save some. And I did make a golden bag of holding. I did it legit. I used some of the string left over from the candles that I did. And then uh, some of the gold from the. Um, 
pulverizing. So I think we can shift click everything in here but one stack of these. There we go. So these are basic water jars. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, I gotta admit. Ooh, an air one. Improve speed. I could use some more air ones. Snow golem, that one sucks. Sorry. There's no really use for snow golems. That up there. Yeah, I got two ones that time. I decided not to buy the upgraded ones because I would just be spending too much time doing stuff off camera, which I didn't want to do. But uh, I'm just going to go with what I get. Plus, I, I had to get some more for this. Now i got to get even more. I'm going to try to hook this dude up to where he's filling all three of these instead of having three different golems do it. See if we can get that hooked up. Hmm, um, I don't think I have a golem spot yet, do I? Do I have a golem spot yet? Just put it in there for now. Forward jars in there too. Okay, guys. So that's where I'm at. I did all these. I'm going to do some more stuff here. Uh, the next episode, we'll get the induction smelter out, and I'll show you all kinds of stuff to do with that. And hopefully, we'll have the wood done by then. I'm just going to let that run, go out here and replant it whenever I need to replant. As you can see, just, just as reference, I'm going to go back at. Hey. See, that tons, tons, like tons faster. As a matter of fact, There we go. And one here too. And we're done. So, if you like this episode, make sure you smack that like button. If you subscribe to my channel, you'll see new notifications when I have new videos out. You can come check them out and see if you like them. If you do like this episode and you want to share it with your friends, tell them how much you like it. Uh, there's a share tab down below. Copy this share tab. Click on the link. Click on the tab. Copy the link. Post it on your Facebook, Twitter, wherever you do social media at. I will take a look at the way he's got it set up. Um, if it's better than this, then we'll go with that. If not, I'll see how he's got it set up and I'll try to make it similar on this one. So there'll be some more off camera and creative mode looks. So I think we'll go outside and into outside. So, guys. Uh, I have missed doing recordings for you guys, and uh, I'm back, and we'll, we're, I'm going to be back for a while, so don't worry about that, and um, you guys just, wow, oh God, thank God for the outside here, um, um, just enjoy the videos, guys, I, I do them so you guys enjoy them, and don't mind my horrible, horrible non-YouTube voice. <laughs> And I'll see you guys later.